Hey guys, Jeff the maintenance man. I just want to go through a real quick uh, how-to video here. When you first open a air conditioning, I'm gonna assume that you don't know what to do when when having air conditioning like this. Um, this is a slightly older one. As you can see, the filter dryer is kind of screwed up a little bit uh, rust no big deal there you shouldn't go into panic about that the first thing you want to do is turn the power off to the unit okay that that's going to save lives now turning the power off to the unit probably doesn't do anything because sometimes these wires up here are down here and that means somebody has bypassed this disconnect but in our case have not bypassed the disconnect. The next step you want to do is take the screws out. Now, not this screw, but this screw right here holding on the case. You're going to take that one all the way out. This is a carrier unit. There's a product and serial number right there. Y'all can see that. This one on the top, you don't have to take all the way out. Just loosen it a bit. Loosen this screw a little bit. Oops, I took that one all the way out. And you're gonna take the bottom one all the way out. We'll just remember where our screws are. Let's go ahead and pick that one up so I don't lose it. And I'll put it back in this little, nice little home over here. Well, maybe it's more of a pain in the butt to do that than it is. Okay, there it goes. You're gonna take the case off. You're going to pull on the bottom, the case is going to slide off. Now here, I'm going to go over the components inside of the air conditioning unit. Step by step. We have the battery backup system. These are known to fail a lot of times. On the carrier units, not so much, but the, the PCS, the PCS, are the power conditioning system it's right here and this is kind of like a small transformer it will up the voltage from 240 volts and put that I mean 80 volts coming in so these lines right here if you have 24 volts across these two lines you probably have a problem you really do and then after that uh, you need to figure out what you need to do to step the voltage up to 80 volts. You have 110 coming in here and 110 coming in here. It's going to make the 220, the 240, whatnot, uh, single phase on there. Disconnecting the power, well, we did that already. We don't need to test this to make sure the power is disconnected any further. We could just go in here and just touch whatever the heck we want. Another thing that you probably want to do is I did bring the power meter. This is the control modulation board. This controls modulations, voltages, temperatures, programmings, days of weeks, heating. If you have a Nest thermostat, this has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on it. It's got everything on it. This controls that thermostat that you put on there. Um, so... That's a that's just a computer board, and we're not going to be getting into the computer uh, nerdiness of that. So three main components uh, for do-it-yourselfers is the main control modulation board, the battery backup system, and the P PCS system, which is a power uh, power correction system. Um, I said something different in the other one, but it essentially does the same thing it's a transformer that's going to up up your voltages to your uh control board so it can then further uh run the other major major components of the air conditioning which is of course the fan and the compressor itself which is down inside the fan shroud 
turning the power on at this point in time is probably not the best thing you can do the reason I bought a uh, brought a meter is because I wanted to go over why it's important to have the right kind of equipment for the right job and another reason is because we don't know for certain that the voltage is turned off so I've been flailing around this thing and all that right so this got a magnet on the back that's always good to have so we're gonna turn we're gonna go here and here and you're gonna see oh see at 205 this is 208 volt system I got 205 volts going in so the voltage was I mean the unit was cut off see but I still had 208 volts going to the unit you need to be very careful of that this transformer updating that 24 volts into 80 volts will bite you see what voltages we have between Herm and that nothing Herm and fan nothing so let me explain to you what this battery does this is a battery backup system and this is your power conditioning system that's what it was PCS power conditioning system and your battery backup system or the BBS when the power goes out this lets the fan spin lets the fan spin to cool um, the compressor and the cools coils uh, just so when the power does return um, it'll be all nice and cool and everything you might have just heard that click right there and that's the PCS engaging and actually engaging into making the energy that we need to turn on this unit so that is one of the very important things to know about these units guys if if there's any questions or anything about uh, this kind of stuff uh, put in the comment section below um, and everybody I hope y'all having a great holiday y'all hang in there it's Jeff the maintenance man y'all have a good one and be safe hey there's a lizard on your head hey there's a donkey in your bed hey all your teeth are turning red I played a joke on you Drank water instead of pop. Hey, that's not candy, that's a rock. Hey, there's an ice cube in your sock. I played a joke on.